How to avoid getting ripped off by a cowboy builder. In this video, I look at how local homeowners can protect themselves from unscrupulous builders. We've all heard the renovation horror stories. The builder who does a runner halfway through a job, leaving a homeowner out of pocket and living in a construction site. The messy contractual dispute that winds up in a court and ends in tears, or the new roof that leaks at the first drop of rain. The good news is that by following a few simple steps, property owners can avoid getting ripped off. Johnny Grieve, an experienced builder who runs the respected construction firm Grieve & Son in East Sussex, has these seven tips for sidestepping cowboy builders. Number one, online research. Many websites offer consumer reviews and information about tradespeople, such as Checker Trade and Trustmark. Do some homework online to see if your chosen builder has a good track record. Number two, membership bodies. Most good builders will be members of at least one trade body such as the Federation of Master Builders, the Guild of Master Craftsmen or Fencer. Always double check a builder's membership claims. Never take their word for it. Number three, check the finances. The last thing you want to do is spend tens of thousands of pounds or more with a company that is in negative equity. Ensure the builder is in good financial shape by reading over their annual accounts on the company's house website. Number four, see for yourself. Ask to see examples of previous building projects. Ideally, visit the site and speak to the client. Also, find out where the builder is working currently and drive past to see if the site is tidy and if workers turn up on time. Number five, get three quotes on a watertight contract. It's always pays to get three quotes and to ensure contracts cover the full scope of works. Never leave detailed building projects to chance or make agreements based on a wink and a handshake. Number six, avoid cold callers. If someone knocked on my door and offered to do a job for me on the cheap, I would immediately be suspicious, says Johnny. Good builders are busy. For example, I have clients lined up until the end of the year. Stay clear of canvases and prepare to wait for a good builder to start work at your property. Number seven, go on instinct, trust your gut. If something doesn't feel right when you're, you talk to a builder, exercise caution. If you would like advice about how renovations could add value to your property, get in touch and I'll be happy to pop round to do a valuation. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you again soon.